Hello friends and colleagues. This video is going to look at brain perfusion MRI exam and how to set it up and uh, also going to include post-processing. So pay attention. Here we go. Okay, so here is the protocol and it's B2, comprehensive brain, and it also includes SWI, ASL, and APT um, sequences. So select uh, this protocol. It could be for 1.5 Tesla or 3T. Um, and this is the sequences that you're gonna run. So I'm going to tell you that the most important sequences that we're gonna look at today is that APT sequence and uh, perfusion, high resolution perfusion sequence. Those are the ones who require post-processing and uh, that require a certain setup. Uh, the rest of the sequence here in app post, especially post-contrast, it's basically to cover the entire brain and they don't need to be explained because they're self-explanatory. There's, there's no need to be. Um, okay, our first sequence is just routine DWI and it's a routine coverage, just a, a regular diffusion, cover the entire brain and let's move on, all right? Our second sequence is uh, shifted WI right here and it's also a routine um, and here is how you set it up just a regular way there's the sequence right here and on the left here the settings just cover the brain all right let's move on all right sequence number three is p castle and run the current one with subs and you also need to run the survey and this is how the survey would look like so after you run the survey this is your basically routine setting and this is your final result right here um if you f if you have a anatomy or pathology i should say uh towards the top of the brain go ahead and increase slices and just cover all of it uh it's totally okay to do that okay but otherwise it's pretty routine all right moving on next Next one is the XL 3D FFE, and this is a, again, it's a routine sequence, and here's how you set it up right here, cover entire brain. Here's your final result. All right, moving on. Okay, next sequence is our 11 slice APT, the protein sequence with color maps. So this one's kind of really important, so pay attention here. All right. So the final result is gonna include 11 slices of each color map. So you have one color map, the second color map here, and then it's just black and white. The setup for it, you're gonna want to bring sagittal image of the, uh, where you showing tumor really well. And you're gonna want to cover parallel to corpus, of course, but corpus callosum right here, but you're gonna wanna cover as much tumor as possible. Um, you cannot add any slices on this one. Uh, it has to stay 11 slices. Uh, so if you feel like you're not covering the entire pathology, it's totally okay. Um, you still doing good just by covering sort of the center of of your pathology like in this case my tumor here frontal lobe tumor is quite large and so i um i'm just basically putting it right in the middle later on we're gonna look at how to subtract these two color maps from the uh raw data you're gonna need to do that in order for radiologists to see the to see them in color all right, uh, moving on. Next sequence is high resolution perfusion joined together with XL 3 dt one It's one sequence, it's gonna run as one sequence. And let's take a look. So 
Uh, on the right here, this is the final result. We're gonna take a look at it in just a minute. This is how you set it up. And just remember, this is a uh, sequence, the perfusion where you're gonna power inject patient with uh, multi hands uh, and you're gonna use higher injection rates, 4.0 or four and a half. So make sure you start your 20 gauge IV for this one. Uh, I have done uh, 22 gauge IV uh, in uh, special circumstances when you can't start the IV they, they'll uh, allow you to do lower injection rate but this is really not preferred so preferred way is 4.0 with at least 20 gauge all right so um, as you can see I brought a really nice view of my pathology here and on this sequence, you are welcome to add as many slices as you like. In other words, just not like the other 11 slice sequence. On this sequence, you do want to include the entirety of the tumor, of the pathology, the entirety. So you can potentially even go higher. You see I've added at least uh, eight slices here. Okay, um, this sequence uh, requires post-processing and uh, we will talk about how to post-process it in uh, post-processing section of this video. Very important note about high resolution perfusion sequence and again I just want to make sure that we're on the same page. Here's this sequence, HR perfusion sequence. This is how you set it up. This is your final result you go in and out of slices from brain from top to bottom you see all these slices on any slice you can stop and actually go left to right to see the enhancement so in the sense this sequence is very similar how to prostate uh, sequence that we run uh, it has many phases that we acquire pre phases and post phases uh, that we acquire and then we could view it. On the top left corner, you could see in seconds these phases. Each phase runs about 2.3 seconds, 2.5, it depends. Important thing, when you start running the sequence, you have to let it run for 15 seconds and then inject multi-hands contrast. So again, delay your contrast injection by 15 seconds that way you acquire your pre phases right here and then allow 15 seconds which is about six pre phases and then only then you're gonna start injecting contrast and allow the rest of the sequence to acquire and then it's gonna automatically go into your axial 3d t1 post get and acquire that so this is important, please make a note of it. Okay, our next post-get sequences, as you could see, 3D flare, T2, T1 fat setted, and T1 regular 3D post, they're just routine sequences. So we're not even going to focus on coverage. It's a, it's a normal entire brain coverage on them. Okay, moving on to the post processing section. Post-process for high-resolution perfusion, this sequence here. Right-click on perfusion sequence, go to newer perfusion, load it up into this app here. Then a left bottom corner, you'll see this blue area. You basically just doing it just like a brain or, or prostate and you clean it, clean it up. And so just make sure that any artifacts or any debris around the brain margins are nice and clean. And then once you've done that, go to generate series, click on generate series. You wanna just leave the uh, NI check mark in. The rest of the check marks are going away and here 
So just leave the NI. Then what you wanna do, you wanna type NI maps GFVF in here and simply hit save and send it to PAX. Then you're going to go back to do a second step with this app. Then you go back to the left bottom corner here, go in and out of slices, find your tumor right here. And you're gonna wanna draw ROI around the tumor. So right click, draw ROI. You can zoom in the image so it'll help you to be more accurate. And then just go ahead and draw a nice circle there. And you're gonna wanna draw another ROI on the opposite side on the right side of the brain here, approximately the same kind of size circle there and there's your ROI okay so on the right top you're gonna see the chart um, and the more important here is to see the these numbers right here they should not be zeros around at all there should be a value here then go to viewing capture important thing here is to be in perfusion newer perfusion that has to be absolutely has to be selected and uh, also uh, patient database and then here you could just put ROI and click OK to save Another post-processing sequence that may be required is this APT11 slice. Now, sometimes it does color reformats for you and separates, and sometimes it doesn't. And uh, this is how it would look like if it's just in grayscale without color maps. So you're gonna need, if you don't see a color, you're gonna need to separate this sequence into grayscale and color. So what you wanna do is to uh, find the sequence in viewing, bring it up to the viewing here, and it's already in color because I already separated it before, but it should be like in grayscale. And go to viewing, capture, and here, you you want to uh, do view image viewing right here. Select image viewing and, no, I'm sorry, select image and then slices. And then here you just wanna add word color and click okay to save and that should be the rest of it. So that's pretty much covers it. Uh, just make sure that uh, during the acquisition of this uh, protocol, you follow all of these instructions, including 15 seconds delay um, and coverage of the tumor on the high resolution perfusion sequence is adequate. Uh, and that you uh, injecting at the high rate, 4.0 or 5.0, uh, and you're injecting multi-hands, of course. Um, and then through uh, post-processing, just make sure, the most important thing perhaps is to make sure that you, you place the ROI in the right area covering the tumor. Uh, you just have to cover the margins of the tumor, um, and making sure that your charts have correct number. And please don't worry if you get called back from radiologists saying that they need to do a new uh, ROI, uh, that they're not uh, adequate enough, uh, no worries, just bring it all up again, draw a couple more ROIs, 
send it to them, make sure that they're satisfied and it's just totally not a big deal. Uh, this protocol is fairly simple once you run it for a couple of times. So um, no worry. Okay, bye.